I'm going to show you how to use light scoring function in ProScore. On your Windows desktop, double click the ProScore button. And now you have entered ProScore. If you have a second computer handy, or a tablet, or a mobile phone, bring it here, like that. So I can show you side by side what it looks like when light scoring function is working. So I launched the Google Chrome browser and now I'm going to enter the web address for the life scoring pages. So where is it? If you look at your ProScore screen, on the top right corner there is a web address for the life scoring pages. So now I go back to your, my internet browser, I enter that address as in the top right corner of ProScore. Now I'm, I just enter the website for the live scoring pages. So I'm going to show you quickly what the live scoring pages mean and what they do. If you look at the second, third, fourth and fifth buttons, they are all the live scoring features. So on the second button that says match records, if you click that button, it will take you to your score history, like that. So it tells you who plays against who, and the result, the time, and the match time, and information like that. So let's go back to the main menu again. If I click that button that says Live Score Single, it will take me to the single page. The, where it looks like just like the uh, ProScore scoreboard with all the information of your current frame in progress. If I go back to that menu and I click the um, Life Score Multiple, it will take me to a place where there are multiple scoreboards running. <clears throat> in this example, I do have several tables. So there's one, two, three, four, four tables here on the first page, and and I have um, more tables on the second page, like this, another three tables. So I have three tables running, and the pages will keep scrolling. Depends on how many concurrent tables you have running. So this is mo like a multiple view of multiple tables, in, if you have more than one. So let's go back to the menu and on the button that says scoreboard view, that is more like a mirror of your pro score scoreboard. So in this page, you are watching something that looks just like your like pro score scoreboard. So we'll go into this in details in a moment. So just let's stick to the single view for the moment. So we'll see how it works together with your ProScore computer. Now, go back to your ProScore and click the snooker scoreboard. And just enter. And say you give some names to the players. So let's say it's James Cameron. And Peter, so, and go match number one. When I click that button, I'll enter the ProScore scoreboard, and now you are going to see how this live scoring pages update itself. So I'll click the go match number one, and you see here on this um, second computer. The scoreboard just changed to whatever I see on the ProScore computer. So let's start the frame clock so we get the game started. So press the C button on the ProScore computer and the clock runs. And you see that um, here, um, the color of this remote scoreboard changes as well to reflect that um, the game is now live or running or in play, whatever you call it. So, the game started and the players play on the table. 
Now, if the first ball is potted, so you, so he gets one point, and you see that on the life scoring pages, the score will get updated as well. Depends on your speed of your of, of the network connection. Um, sometimes it will be instant. Sometimes it will take like a couple of seconds or more. Depends on, you know, um, the current condition of your internet connection. So the game just just keep running and and the score changes on your remote scoreboard like that. And when the current frame is finished, you press the win button, the, the W button, to go to that confirmation screen where you finish this frame. And to confirm, you press the free button, that's the green ball button. So that frame has finished. And on this live scoring page, the color on the top bar changes to red indicating that this frame is not currently active and you see that the frame score has been updated as well and so are all the pawns has been reset on both scoreboards so let's take a look at the multiple view on this multiple view here you see the same thing here this um, the live scoring pages with your table updated on this corner so the score has been updated in almost real time now if we click at the scoreboard view it's the same thing you will see this thing here that looks pretty much just like the pro score scoreboard and on this computer if you don't like having like the uh, the windows surrounding your scoreboard you press F11 on the browser and that will take you to the full screen so back to my pro score computer I can start the clock and continue the next frame like that and you see how that remote scoreboard changes as the game goes on So if you don't know how to operate ProScore like what I did here, um, go back to my other videos which give you detailed explanation on, on how this operation um, is all about. Um, it's very easy to learn, you just need to learn a few keys and then you will be able to operate ProScore like I do here. So I'll finish the second frame here. And you see that um, the remote scoreboard has been updated. So I'll show you another page, which is the match history. So if you click this button here, which is the second button from the left, it takes you to the match history, which is a long list of match records. So I'm going to show you one thing is that the latest frame is on top here. You can't see the text in details, but that you can see that uh, um, the first row on top is actually the match I'm having on my ProScore computer. So now it is one against one, so it's one all. So on my ProScore computer, if I start the third frame, you will see that the frame status will be changed from frame interval to in play like that now this page just refreshes like every 20 20 30 seconds so it doesn't get refreshed in real time now on my post score computer i just let the game runs as usual and things goes on and uh, in a moment let's say this frame is now finished so i end the frame as usual by pressing the w button and three and on the remote scoreboard, if I refresh this page, you will see that the frame has been changed to 2 against 1, as in my pro score computer, that's 2 against 1. Now, when this match is finished, let's just let's say we play the best of 3 games. 
Now it's two against one, so this match is supposed to be finished. So the proper way to end a match is to go to the menu on your ProScore computer and end the match. And I'll tell you why you should do that. If you look at the remote match, match history here, um, you see that um, it's two against one, but um, you don't know who you know who, who was the winner and whether the match has ended. So on your ProScore computer, the proper way to end a match would be to press the manual button, which is M, and scroll to the option that says End Match. And I'll press Enter button. I'll press the Enter button, and you'll see there is a small change on the match history. So let's press that enter button to end the match. I'll confirm. Yes. On the match history, when a match is ended, the name of the winner will have bold typeface. So if I refresh this match history here, you will see that here, the winner of that match, his name is Bold. You might not be able to see it, see it clearly um, from this camera, but um, I can see that um, the name of the winner has his name Bold, like here. So it's important that you keep the best practice by ending a match properly, so you have the correct Bold typeface on the winner and if you don't do that it's not a big deal you know if it's not like a tournament or competition it's not a, it's no big deal but um, it's just the best practice that I want to show you so when you when your match is done then you can just quit pro score on your computer by pressing escape yes and it's done. So the match is finished. So this is the end of the demonstration. If you have any questions about using live scoring and so on, um, send me a message and I'll try my best to help. Thank you. If you don't have a second computer to watch the live scoring pages, you can actually use your mobile phone if you have a smartphone which have an internet browser inside, you can actually use it to watch the live scoring pages. So here I enter the live scoring website and um, say I want to watch the scoreboard mirror. So I just enter that page, press the button and um, then I'll get the scoreboard mirror on my mobile phone. So if I start the clock on my ProScore computer, you can see that um, how this remote live scoring pages change as the game goes on. One, six, so you see, you know, you don't have to have a computer, a second computer or third computer to watch the live score result. And they are all they all get updated in real time if you have the you know the mobile phone or laptop or tablet and um, it would be a good idea if you display those live scoring pages on a public TV or a public kiosk so people around your table or outside your snooker room can actually see you know how the games goes on and the current frame results. So this is pretty handy um, feature that, you, that comes with ProScore package.